I travel, I want to try the local beer. Like when I go to St. Lucia, I try the Piton. I go to Barbados, I try Banks. You go to Jamaica, you try Red Stripe. You come to St. Vincent, you try Hyrule. Yes, definitely, definitely. Hey, so uh, currently uh, we're gonna well, we're gonna show you how to roast the breadfruit, how it's done over here. To so all you over there in the world that wonder and heard of a breadfruit before and actually wonder how it's cooked, how it's prepared, we're gonna show you how it's done. So let's have a look at the preparation. As you can see, we have a breadfruit here. It's very rare from the other cutlass. For the cutlass, you can use for many things, obviously to uh, chop up the breadfruit, and also to uh, open up a coconut. You see that on the tree, you've got plenty of coconuts over there. So, Max, how long would it take to cook this bread through? This could take up to maybe like a hour, two hours. Depends on how hot the fire is. Right, okay. That's why now I'm trying to catch, catch the blaze. So it's completely cooked when it's completely black? When it goes yeah, black? Like when it goes black and it looks charred, the skin looks charred, that's how you know it's, it's done. Right. If you look over here, you can see it's starting to turn black already. But that's just from the like from the smoke. But the whole thing has to be like completely black, like this color, and like charred. You see, like how that hot coals in there looking charred? Yeah. That's how the skin has to look, like charred like that. So what I'm doing, I'm basically trying to like catch the, like a blaze. Like when you eat bread fruit, you will taste, it has like a kind of like a smoky taste. The smoky taste it gets from like the smoke going up into the bread fruit. So it always has that, that smoky taste like um, like when you smoke um, jerky or, or any of those things, it has that same smoky taste. Yeah. So this is the best way to cook a bread fruit? This is the only way. I mean, there's other ways to cook it. You could like boil it. But it has to be like a like a young bread food. It can be like a overripe bread food or like a full bread food. So two ways to, to do bread food. You boil, boil it or you roast it. Right. Okay, that's how it's charred. So once it starts getting like that, you gotta keep turning it, turning it, turning it. So the whole thing could feel like that. Unless you put like in a, a like a, some people, they make like a big, big, like a bonfire and just chuck everything in there. So the whole thing gets done. But like when you do it like this, you gotta keep turning it, turning it, turning it. So each side could get, so let me turn it. thing gotta get like this
okay so we can see after about 40 minutes most of it's gone going black you've got a few areas which are still green and slowly but surely turning all black see the flame down there Yeah, so how would you cook this in different ways other than roasting it? What's the other options? Well, there's fried breadfruit. So, like, to get fried breadfruit, you just can't roast the... You just can't, like, cut the green one and, and, and fry it. You have to roast it like this first. Then you peel it. Then you slice it up. Then you fry it. So that's how you get the fried breadfruit. Okay, so before you fry it, you have to make sure you roast it. Yeah. And then, and then uh, you can do it in a different format after it's been roasted on the uh, on the barbecue. So, you see, this one is not too far from being done by the looks of things. Right, yeah. it's nearly completely black. So we'll see how far we have left to go. Was it green first? No. So we can see the breadfruit is nearly practically done. So if you go. About 20, 20 more minutes, it should be good. 20 minutes, so you remember early in the video, it was completely green. You see it's completely darkened up. Black, like the charcoal, black and grey. And this is an indication your breadfruit is basically cooked. So you ever want to experience, you want to know how to cook breadfruit? In this video, you've seen how to do it. And the next thing to do is slice it up and eat it. What you have to do? See, because now with the skin is like it's basically charcoal. Hmm. So if you don't put water on it, it's gonna keep burning, for, burning forever. So when you when you take it out, basically what you do is sprinkle the skin with water. The out, you see? You hearing that that fizzing sound? So you just kind of sizzling noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah to sizzling stop the uh, burning. To stop the yeah. burning, because it will keep burning. You hear the sizzling sound? Yeah. So you just wet the skin basically to out out the fire. And then after that, just leave it to cool. And that's it. That's how you roast the breadfruit. Dude. So that's, that's how, how you roast the breadfruit. Leave it in the hour in the fire for about an hour. Keep turning it. Depending on um, like I said, the fire. Some people just make a, like a big bonfire. Just throw the whole thing in it. So. It just basically does in one shot. But like when you do it on like a car rim or something, you um have to keep turning it. Right. So we can see this this the smoke, the steam coming off from this. Mm, it's very the heat is evolving away with the the heat. So yeah, that's how you how you cook a breadfruit, how you roast it. So I hope this has been informative for you guys out there. If you ever want to know how to do a breadfruit, now you know. To the next one. So St. Vincent, back in the days, the, um, the indigen indigenous people call it Hiruna. So if you really notice, that's the name of the bear, Hiroon. Mm -hmm. So what it basically means is home of the home of the blessed. Okay. So the indigenous people call it Hiruna and then Christopher Columbus when he came it he gave it that name St. Vincent. Yeah. But the original name is Hiruna. Yeah. And that's where the, the they got the, the, the name of the the, the the local bear, Hiruna. Yeah. yeah. And you know that 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 bear Hiruna won a lot of um gold medals, like worldwide. Yeah, it's a really nice bear. Yeah, as well. it's like a kind of smooth, smooth, smooth bear. It's yeah. Not heavy. Compared to like the other big brands out there like yeah. Heineken, 
and Budweiser is very really nice. Smooth, yeah. No, it goes no down gas. Smooth. Yeah, no it gas. Goes down smooth. Really smooth, yeah. yeah. So I can have three of those, and, and you don't, yeah, yeah, you don't feel like you had yeah, a beer. Exactly. It's really refreshing. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. But a lot of people like go drink it like, 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 see, like on a hot day like today, you drink on like a beastly cold. It's almost like water. Yeah. Because it's not that heavy, you know. Harsh. Yeah, yeah, it's a very it goes nice down beer. Smooth, yeah. I recommend anyone that comes here to try yeah, that beer. Anybody, I recommend that 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 beer, man. Have a beastly cold high moon on a hot day. You won't be disappointed, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you gotta try if you come here. What's the point of coming here and yeah, you don't and try I'm the, fine. the like national? Me, whenever I travel, I wanna try the local beer. Like when I go to St. Lucia, I try the Piton. I go to Barbados, I try Banks. You go to Jamaica, you try Red Strap. You come to St. Vincent, you try High Room. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. So it's a hot day today, so that's the, we're gonna show you show you next how you actually, uh, once your breadfruit is cooled down, cutting it up, peeling it. So we'll move on to that next. So we're peeling the breadfruit now. Oh. Need a breadfruit to me, yeah? Jesus. Yeah, the skin you're taking off, it, way. Yeah, it smells good though. You smell that fresh bread fruit. This one, you like it, ain't that good. Oh, but they like the half ripe man. Yeah. Is it too hot? It's soft. Oh. 